Hello everybody, this is Strategist Primus and I'm back. Last episode saw a bit of raiding and putting Warwick back under us and all that jazz. It was quite entertaining. Uh, if you're interested, there will be a link. And there we go. So, what are we going to do this time? We're coming for Wessex. That will eventually decay this episode. I certainly hope it will at least. And we will have the pleasure of dealing with Alfred. Currently we're trying to murder him. It's not really going to go anywhere, as we're kind of stuck at 51%, which won't trigger anything. So we'll get rid of that. There's probably better people to waste our time murdering. Besides, killing Alfred in battle will be so much more fun. So I'm going to wait for this to decay, because, yet again, I probably could kill the entirety of the Christian Defensive Pact against me. But why bother? It'd be much easier to just deal with them all at once. Considering we're only, only at 15 points... Yeah, six-ish. Everyone wants to marry my daughter. Because CK2 things. My spy master has a good idea for messenger stations. That's good. My, uh... Goaty appears to be dead. Wait. That's the dude brought here by the merchant guy. And he's 28 learning? Okay, best deal ever. Let's just uh, get him to convert all these Anglo-Saxons. And, uh, yeah. That being said, uh, Wessex is really the last uh, strong kingdom left in Britain that is Christian. Scotland's kind of in a bit of a disarray at the moment, as they have literally no men. Uh are fighting off piles of vikings from every which direction, my son included, and are generally not going to survive well. I think the rest of Europe is realizing this as they're all trying to get me to uh, marry my daughter to them. The Lombards appear to be revolting against the Carolingian Empire. I don't think they'll do very well, but it will at very least distract them. 6,000 men? Yeah, that won't, that won't do it. You need about 40, 30, something like that. Oh, he turned out crap. Five, three, four, three. Jeez. And you're supposed to be an expert, your amateur's plotter, and you don't even have an intrigue score. Oh man. And and I arrange for you to marry somebody decent. No, you're that's that's not happening. We're we're, we're breaking that, uh, because she's better than he is by a lot. He just happens to be, you know. A vassal of mine. Uh, we're, we're we're getting rid of him. He he doesn't deserve to uh, sit on that land. That's a sizable amount of land, and he's god awful. So we're just going to uh, quietly whack him. My chancellor's doing good. Very nice. We're just going to quietly arrange for him to uh, die and uh, give away his lands. Ah, sawing through the. The railings on his balcony. This is going to be a great way to die. Splat, 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 splat. Yay, he went splat. Okay, cool. Now, who to give this land to? I have a couple of ideas. First things first. Just going to check that my commanders are actually good. Goofy is way better than he is. She's not bad, but I can't just give her land. She's a woman, after all. Yeah, sexist, I know. Um, and I can't arrange uh, matrilineal things, so I can't bring any of these guys to us. Which is awful. Anyone lying around who's any good? You. Yeah, no, not really. Sorry there. Let's see if there's anyone else. Her father is not bad. I could I could very easily give him I don't know the Yorland of Northumberland and call him my new counselor. Chancellor, sorry. He's just as good as Arnie Skane. I would put another Yorland into the kingdom. 
and kick you all off the council. I'm not sure how I feel about that. But I need to give away quite a substantial amount of land. Oh, I have all these Irish estates. We'll do that. So go over to here. Find the right one. Find your dad. Yeah, he's old. Yeah, he, he's a son, I guess. So. His line might be secure. I have no idea. This is fundamentally just getting rid of land. For the moment. I mean, he'll still be under us, and he'll still probably be f fairly loyal. Uh, we're still one over. Ugh. This is the problem of not having a bumper crop of sons. Can I let you to my court? Yes, I can. I'll give you some land. Namely because his name is Gandalf. Uh, <laughs> so I'm not going to give him anything all that great. Cumberland, no, 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 not Cumberland, uh, Westmoreland would be better. Yeah, there we go. There. Now, oh, this is Varring, if he comes... No, he won't. Okay, fine. Diseases. Oh, crap. Consumption's hitting us. Great. I have lost games because of consumption. It, if it hits your family, you're just doomed. Uh, Smuggery. Great. Maybe if I pretend to push her off the walls? Ah. Damn it. goofy has gotten too old to be Berserker. Uh, we've sadly been cheated of a death and glorious battle, and we no longer have the endurance or constitution necessary to sustain a Berserker rage. Perhaps such things are best left for the youth. So that means we're down to 28 martial and our dual skill went from 16 to 13. Ugh. Yeah, the time to kill Alfred is now. Sadly, the land's being racked by consumption, which is just not good. So I'm gonna wait for this disease to uh, peter out. Please don't kill my son. My son-in-law wants us to go deal with things. Out over here all. Do you actually have the men for this? No, you really don't. <sighs> I love it when my allies rely on me. I'm still gonna go, it's it's basically free. Um, prestige, but, you know, I was about to use these men to go deal with Wessex. He clearly owes me one. 41 boats. I need more boats. Why do I always need more boats? Oh yeah, I'm a viking. Just eternally, there are never enough boats. 53, that will do it. Goofy there. I prefer Braggy and Goofy over here and Goofy. Okay, there we go. Now let's go send him to deal with these Russians. Oh, sorry, the Rush. Ah, my son has stolen Inverness. Great. So now we're threatening again. <laughs> Damn it, son. I've apparently lost Gregarious. And Valor check, son. That's just life. And try to get him to be even better. Because that would be amazing. 30 learning. Jeez. Glad he... 31 learning. <laughs> Ugh. He's ridiculous. Just start converting people already. Okay. T has about 3,000 men. I have 4,000... Nearly 5,000 men. This should be easy. As I'm just gonna siege land and. You know, the usual Viking thing. Take things over. Oh, he has a lot more men. <laughs> Great. 
Let's take this quickly. On boats, we are saved. 8,000 men. Why did you do this, you idiot? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's a conquest, but dude, this is a dumb one. There are smart conquests and there are dumb conquests. I mostly go for smart conquests. This is an idiot's idea. <laughs> and we lose formidable fighter. Shit. So much for killing Alfred in battle. Actually, we still might just be able to... 11... I, th I think he's 10? 9. If that's a lot closer than previously. Uh, I'm letting him lose that because that's a war we just can't afford to get involved in. It's way over there. I don't care about it. I'd much rather deal with pesky, pesky... Saxons. The problem is, is my son has gone off and made us threatening again. What are you doing on the wrong... Right. I shouldn't have done that. He is doomed to become the... Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm an idiot. Okay. That, that was my fault. We'll have a war about that later, I'm sure. I, I don't care about this war anymore. Okay. Alright, we can finally go off after Wessex. Horrible, recurring nightmares are our people. Uh, open the gates and help them. And let's call up the men. Uh, no, we can't do that yet. We're declaring war on Wessex in the middle of this plague just because I can't stand it anymore. Shit. Raiders, really? You want a seat on the council. Let's see what I can do about that. You're actually quite good at intrigue. Oh, yeah, totally. You're my spy master now. Enjoy. He's my spy master. Call that down. Alright, time to go deal with Wessex. Because I am done with them. I'm taking Gloucester. Alright. Call up the men. Call in an ally. Uh, yeah, call in Sweden. Just because I want to pound this fool. Oh no. My son might just die of consumption on me. Shit. If my son dies of consumption, I am going to scream. This is not how it happens. Appears my forces are a little weaker than I remember. Oh. Right. There's a lot of them over there. <sighs> Boats. Keep forgetting I need them. Which is kind of hilarious, really. <laughs> Alright, you get on a boat. You get Northern England. You guys, get a boat up. You get a boat up. You get a boat up. And you get a boat up. And now all y'all get on boats. And you get a boat. And you get a boat. And you get a boat. And all the boats. Good, uh... I suppose that would do. Retreat a little. Give my boats time to sail. Class. Sure. My daughter's become pretty good. If she wasn't dull, she'd be very good. She's apparently a scholarly theologian. Ah, uh, there we go. The army's here. 10,000 men. There we go. Now we can smash them. Let's go get them. And there we are. And squish Wessex like a bug. Charge. <sighs> and Alfred runs away. 
charge. Somebody else runs away. Great. We captured Alfred. Now, usually I just peace out now that we have him. But this is Alfred we're talking about. I want him dead. Uh, it's just because he's amazing. Look at these stats. He's 48. He's going to outlive me. And frankly, I don't want to have to uh, deal with have him deal with my son. So I'm just going to uh, yeah, spread eagle. Or apparently get a bear to eat. I don't really care which. We have 79% war score. Uh, sorry, 29% war score. I can't read. I'm literate, guys. I don't care. And now the realm of Wessex is in the hands of Ospion, who is kind of a figure forgotten to history. He's the bastard son of Alfred the Great, before he was a king. Quite an interesting little nugget right there. Uh, you want to go there and let's trap him. Uh, I can't trap him. There we go. Smash him up. Charge. Back to Sussex. One more, one more. If I can kill two kings in a row, I'd feel good about this. Uh, my marshal? He still has consumption. Uh, that's not gonna be good. Not gonna be good at all. He's still alive? Okay, he took Northampton. Very good. My son's expanding. Don't do that. Alright. We're coming for them. Very good. Apparently, Bezelius Beliosus, the butcher, is dead. And there's a new emperor of the Byzantines. They're probably hearing of this because they hired the Vengean Guard, and, well... My son died in the Vrenjian Guard, so... I probably still have an ear to the ground on what's happening in, uh, Macedonia land. We smashed them up pretty good. Let's go take Gloucester. Somebody just got burnt. Actually, I could use one last good thump on him. Because I don't really care about Gloucester so much as I care about crippling Wessex. Charge. Oh yeah, here we go. Opportunity to kill two kings, leave them with a four-year-old on the throne. Here we go. Prepare to die, Wessex scum. Strike. Die. We've killed two kings of Wessex in this one glorious war. We've left them with a four-year-old boy. Utterly crippled them. Christianity is doomed. Also known as objective complete. You want a ransom. Uh, you're getting blotted, buddy. Okay. One last good battle. Of course, I've been saying that about the last four. <laughs> oh, who's dead? Chaplain. That's annoying. Make him proselytize over here, too. My chaplains are just bad at spreading religion. Which makes sense. We are a uh, pagan faithful. Unreformed pagan faithful. Let's like capture a bishop. More blotting material. Oh, great. My daughter has gone off and had a bastard. Mm, deal with it quietly. I don't want to know, just deal with it. Yep, that's that's my answer for that one. And we're getting you married off somewhere else, so I don't have to deal with you anymore. Uh, the reason why I did that is I don't want to lose the prestige. Not right now. Because this will be probably the end of Goofroot pretty soon. He's 54. Just out of a war. Consumption's rampant. And we're mucking around battles with an old man. You know, eventually I might find someone who might be capable of killing us kind of hoping for it. It'd be awesome to put him to Valhalla, but apparently uh, everyone else is too much of a pussy to actually kill us. As we've uh, successfully taken Gloucester. And, uh, yeah. We've 
we thrashed Wessex badly. There's, they don't even have a thousand men anymore. They're led by a four-year-old. And uh, I, I predict there's going to be a lot of Norse incursions. So yeah, I'm going to call that an episode. Uh, once we get our men back and disbanded and, you know, back to a usual point. We've expanded Gloucester. Most importantly, uh, Alfred is dead. Let's do a rumble little here. Uh, I need to give that title to somebody. Do I have anybody just lying around my court? Please tell me I have somebody. Oh, women. Hucker. Sucks. Eh, he's not the worst. I've granted it worse. I'll be the Thane of Gloucester for now. I don't really like him at it. And yeah, that's an episode. We've successfully killed Alfred the Great, his, first, his firstborn son. And we're now on to Ethelwolf II, who is the second uh, son to survive past the death of Alfred. Uh, Alfred and his son Osborne were both killed by Guthrie the Butcher. We've submitted our title in blood. Thank you all for joining me. If you like the content, please like and or subscribe. And holy shit, France has left. West Francia has sort of left the uh, Carolingian Empire because they're... Uh, Fighting a bit of a civil war here. They've seemed to have uh, splintered apart a little. Charles II, and this is Heligard. Yeah, I remember. Are uh, appearing to be at, 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 at coming to blows with each other. That will be entertaining to watch. Because if the Carolingian Empire splat uh, splatters to pieces next episode, we can go for uh, taking back Denmark. That will make me very happy. That is, of course, if we ever get rid of this threatening. <clears throat> Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this episode. I know I just said that. I'll see you in the next one.